Yo, today we're going to be breaking down how you can create these 3D titles in any editing software and you don't need to know how to animate in 3D, how to edit in 3D. With this free pack linked in the description, you can simply drag and drop these into your scene and you're done. It's really as easy as that. They're transparent backgrounds. You don't got to mess with it or anything. You just got to line the letters up and you're done. So this is a little free sample pack from the full pack, which has 10 different alphabets that are all like this. You can drag them in and they're automatically animated already for you in 3D. 3D. So you can create tons of really crazy looks with this pack and it comes with hundreds of assets as well that you can use in your title cards. And so everything you can think of is in this pack. It's got chrome titles, grunge titles, gothic titles, nature titles, clean titles, liquid chrome titles, video game, cartoon style. And this is definitely one of the most cohesive editing packs that has the most value in it for sure. So definitely make sure to go check that out. But enough talking, man. So for this first example, I'll just show you what's in the free pack. So all you got to do is just drag and the letter and just like that it's already right there and as you can see it's really high quality textures and for the background i just downloaded a generic lightning background that could look hard for a title card and then i'll just drag in the other letters boom that took two seconds and then i'll just highlight all of them and then tap s on my keyboard to bring up the scale for all of them and then when you bring down the scale for one of them it brings down the scale for all of them and then once you bring this down enough you can just start lining these up so i'm just spelling out a random word i just picked ghost and as you can see here right off the bat that looks really clean really sick all of them are animated separately as you can see here the g and the o are a little bit similar so what you could do is you could just tap on the o and retime this so you could right click on it go to time and then do time stretch and then maybe make it a bit faster so put it at like 60 percent so then those will just be coming in at different times see oh that's just so clean and then Obviously with this background, it's not matching up with the color. So I can add on the tritone effect and I can make this, you know, red. And there we go, that's looking a lot better. And yeah, so that took me like literally 15, 20 seconds just to drag these in and get them all centered up. And once you have that done, you can now pre-comp all of those together. And pre-comping, what that does is you're just taking all of these layers, putting it into one layer. So you just do Control Shift C and then click this box and click OK. And it moves it all into one layer, which is really simple. And then now we can kind of, you know, add some adjustments. You could add some glow on there if you want. You could add some flicker. You could add some color grading. You could increase the saturation to make it more red. You could change the color if you want. You could add on tritone, make it blue if you want, if you like a blue look. There's really endless possibilities with this. And then as well, what we can do is we can add in these different assets. So for example, there's these floating rocks that you can just drag in here. You could drag that behind the lettering, add on lumetri color, and then darken this, you know, make this barely visible. Just like that, you've got some 3D. This is one of my favorites right here. This gun that animates in, that looks super crazy. And then, you know, you could scale this down. You could put this under it to the side. You could put two of these. There's multiple of these different gun animations that you have, and you could have that, you know. This is like a really rough example, but I'll put up some examples up on the screen of what this can look like with the different 3D titles that I have in here. This is an example of one that I really like, this corroded kind of metal looking one. I have it fade in like that, and golly, man, look at those textures. And all of these, again, animated completely separately in 3d you're definitely gonna want to check out this pack man definitely one of the best packs i've made this is again another one of my favorites this one's cool this is from what i call the hippie alphabet uh this one i'll put an example up on the screen of what this can look like again if you want to change the color just add on the tritone effect and then you know add whichever color you want on here and as well this pack does come with cool backgrounds and whatnot and i included these as well which are like these trippy little blob things you can place behind the titles there's that one there's this one which is one of my favorites this looks really good then this liquid chrome alphabet looks crazy as well this one might be my favorite you just drag this in and boom it generates like that I mean, this pack, yo, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda, I kinda went crazy on this pack. I'm not gonna lie, okay? And then as well, this pack does include a few templates so you could see kind of, you know, the cool stuff that you could make with this. Different animations, you know, give you an idea of like how you could lay out the text and whatnot. Here's this up here again, just showing some examples of what you can use in this pack. Yeah, like 3D leaves, 3D rocks. 
3D guns, chrome, UFOs. But yeah, anyways, man, I'll stop stroking myself. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Have a good one and peace.